hello 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 y'all i'm back with another one this is the creative hippie and before i begin i just want to say thank you so much for all the love that i've received on my previous videos so i'm just here to say i'm back with another one all right it's been too long your girl is back so i'm coming back with spring fragrances i know the last time i had a summer fragrance and that was like last year but um this time around i got spring coming up because you know i like to switch it up from time to time i even stopped like i, I even decided to step out the box or whatnot so i'm gonna be putting some this video is going to have designer and niche fragrances you know it's not gonna be dua this time around i'm gonna be doing dua in the next video in fact so let's get started i'm gonna start off with hmm i want to start off with my travel fragrances right I'm gonna do the travel size fragrances and then I'm gonna do my full size bottles. And at the end of this video, like stick around y'all, just at the end of this video, I'm gonna show y'all all the combos that I like to do in the springtime because I purchased so many of these fragrances last year and just like previous years. So, you know, stick around, I'm gonna show you different combos. They're gonna smell really nice is worth it you know don't forget to like comment and subscribe tell me your favorite fragrances tell me any if you have any of these fragrances you know so let us get started so we're gonna start off with all right and i'm gonna warn y'all because i be hearing some of y'all with y'all little jokes talking about some smell like old ladies and whatnot so this a few of these are vintage smelling like i know a few of my um travel sprays for sure is vintage smelling like the a lot of these formulas come from like the 80s the 90s and stuff like that and the brand i want to start off with should i do brand nah not even brand i'm just going to start off with the fragrances i feel like it's kind of vintage smelling and I'm gonna start off with, in this travel size that I bought like, probably like four years ago. This is from Serge Luton's in this Feminique Dubois. Can y'all see that? Yeah, Feminique Dubois. And the notes of Feminique Dubois is um it's virginia cedar plum cinnamon peach clove ginger violet ylang ylang rose african orange flower sandalwood benzoin musk and vanilla and this is classified as an amber woody fragrance now this is very nice i will rock this and like like the cooler days of spring it's very it's not obnoxious or anything it's very nice it, it it does remind me of the 90s for real for real it does but it's still wearable like you know you probably want to be smelling like your mom not too much of your grandma and let me tell you it's different types of grandma not all grandma scents are bad like there's that super nice grandma there's the mean grandma there's a super freaky vamp <laughs> now let me stop let me show but um it's different types it's it's not all vintage smells are not the bad it's not bad you know smells or anything like that so don't feel like this these aren't wearable fragrances there really is like they really are so um that is Serge Luton's Feminine Dubois next next up is i know you ain't breaking up on me hold up all right <laughs> we're back serge luton serge luton's le vierge de fer le vierge de fer 
<laughs> I think I pronounced that right. And its notes are, it is lily, pear, it has some metallic notes, sandalwood, and incense. And this is a floral. It's another one that's not so obnoxious. It's very nice. Um, it is, it's a nice light floral, very wearable. It smells so good too. Hold up. Let me, let me, let me give you a nice, let me give you a good, good classification. Yeah, it's very, it's kind of soapy. It's clean. You probably want to wear this after a shower or something like that. Um, it's but like the, still for the cooler days, you can wear this on the cooler days and the lighter days of spring. It's not bad at all. Very floral. It's super floral, but it's not like it's not a bad stingy type of floral fragrance. It's really nice. I think you should try it out. If anything, look, I know you see these bottles. I got this one from Fragrance Net. I, like I said, I got this like probably like four years ago and i wear this but not too often because it's, i have so many fragrances i have a lot of fragrances y'all so this one didn't get too much use but i did wear this a few times over the years like i've been spraying this a lot over the years like you know what i'm saying but this is very nice it lasts for most of the day i say like four to six hours and it's very nice. I really think y'all should try this out. So before you like try to invest in a full size bottle, try a travel size first. Like, you know, definitely get a travel size. But this is nice. Serge Luton's Le Veg de Fer. Very nice one. And my last you know, vintage smelling travel size fragrance is going to be, and I wore this a lot, y'all. This one is YSL Cinema. I want to get this in a full size. I wear this a lot. This is like one of my favorite, favorite fragrances. It is classified as an amber floral, and its notes are almond blossom, clementine, cyclamen, jasmine, peony, amaryllis, vanilla, amber, benzoin, and white musk. This fragrance is so vintage, but it's so nice. This it smells dumb good, like. You could wear this, I would feel like, any time in the spring. You could wear this any time in the spring. And it smells expensive. It don't smell cheap at all. It smells very nice. YSL, I love YSL fragrances because, you know, they they got a little, they got a little expensive touch on their things. Like, I, I like how their um, fragrances smell. I have a few of them too but i don't want to put them in this video because i know a lot of people do talk about them and i want to focus on the things that no one really focuses on no one really talks about this at all i'm definitely gonna buy this in a full size or whatnot so i cannot wait to do so oh my god no i did not open this child oh yeah i go messing up listen let me put this back in its case this is ysl cinema very nice Ooh. Next up, y'all. Next up, you know, I think a few of you might find that this could be a little vintage smelling, but in my opinion, it's it's really not. It's from Mancera, and it's called Mancera Pearl. I wore this a few times. I don't have to spray this too much because it's pretty strong. So I could still wear this in the daytime, but I wouldn't wear this to like work or anything like that. I probably wear this to like go out or maybe like run errands and stuff like that. It is a floral fragrance and its notes are fig, bergamot, green apple, white peach, rose, Egyptian jasmine, violet, white musk, and ambergris. 
it's very very nice to me it is it's a nice fragrance it's one of those like mancera can have a little bit a tinge of a synthetic note in their fragrances but it's not bad at all i do like this this is very different for me it smells middle eastern of course but there's no oud in there or anything and i love oud too but this has no oud at all it's very nice and um i say if you want to smell different from everyone you should get this but i suggest getting it in a travel size don't don't go like blind buying it i would not blind buy this at all in fact i'm actually glad that i got it in this size because i probably would have been upset if i just you know invested in a full size because it took me a while to get into this all right so this is mancera's pearl oh that do smell good too damn all right and next up we have my favorite vanilla in the whole wide world and i really think it's time for me to invest in a full size bottle of this because let me tell you i've been buying this in a travel size for too many years from fragrance net and it's time that i buy this in a full size and this fragrance is serge luton's un bois Vanille. this is my favorite vanilla in the whole wide world and i don't like that it doesn't last i don't like it I, I cannot stand that it doesn't last but listen i'm still gonna buy it i'm still gonna spray it and i'm glad i have it in this travel size because when i do get the full size i'm just gonna you know i'm just gonna just refill it and just carry it along with me it's really good it's so nice it is classified as an amber vanilla and its notes are vanilla, coconut milk, beeswax, black licorice, sandalwood, tonka bean, bitter almond, benzoin, gaiac wood, and musk. Y'all, y'all, this is very different. You can smell the coconut milk in it. You get the sandalwood. I don't get no black licorice, thank God. I don't like licorice. I don't like the black jelly beans, all right? I throw them out. Okay, I do not eat them. All right, every Easter I'm throwing the black jelly beans out. I don't get it in this at all. It's very, it's very unique. It's not too much of a. It's a. It's kind of soft. This vanilla is kind of soft, but it's so unique. You get it smells like a vanilla coconut. I just wish that it lasted a little bit longer, but I still love this so so much. It's my favorite vanilla fragrance in the entire world. If it's any vanilla. If they eliminated all the vanillas, I'm just going to keep this one, okay? Like, for real. So, there you have it. Serge Luton's Umbra Vanille. We moving on now. I'll be moving on. Uh, what's my next one? my next one is a cult favorite everybody be talking about this one everybody talk about this one it's like everybody and i see why like it took me a little bit to get into it i'm glad i got this size and i mean eventually i'll get the big size but uh not right now it's not, it's just okay to me i like it but it's just okay to me and i'm talking about carolina's good girl can y'all see that oh uh, there we go carolina's good girl now listen i got a scent box subscription i've been on scent box for a few years so i get a lot of my fragrances from there it's kind of like scent bird but i wanted to do scent box because you know i like to be different y'all I don't like rolling with everybody. I don't like doing what everybody do. Sorry. I don't. Okay. And it's classified as an amber floral. I'm getting off topic. Um, it's notes or amber, coffee, bergamot, lemon, tuberose, jasmine sandbag, orange blossom, orris, Bulgarian rose, tonka bean, cacao, vanilla, praline, sandalwood, musk, amber, cashmere was cinnamon patchouli and cedar 
I kind of see the hype for the fragrance, but I'm not going to lie. I kind of think everybody likes the shoe <laughs> more than the fragrance. To me, this smells designer. This, yeah, it smells like a designer. Oh, it smells good, though. It's sweet. It's sweet. It's like a sweet floral. It's very pretty. Definitely a pretty girl fragrance. So I kind of see the hype, but I'm just not that hype about it because I like more unique fragrances that kind of like tends to off that'll make somebody smell like, oh my, like somebody say that you smell really good and different. I like the different kind of scents that's not out here, but this is still nice. It's very nice and wearable. I'd say you could wear it at any time of the day, any time of the day, like day or night. You know, you could go out in this. You could probably wear this to work. You know, just don't spray too much. And it lasts about maybe like mm, four to six hours. And I forgot to mention these fragrance, the fragrances that I mentioned before, except for Oubois Vanille. Oubois for me, Oubois Vanille for me, it only lasts about like four hours. And the previous fragrances, like, no, man, Sarah Pearl. I feel like lasts for about eight hours and the other ones last for about four to six hours this one falls into that category for me too all right it's very nice it's pretty it's floral it smells like it got vanilla in it like yeah it has vanilla and um it's very designer very designer like I, I'm actually glad that I got it, but I'm glad I got the size that I got. I would, I'm going to get the shoe eventually or whatnot. I'm definitely going to get the shoe, but, um, you know, it's very nice. It's really good. Y'all should just get it. Pick it up. It's very nice. If, if anything, start off with a sample size or travel size or whatnot, and then just go into anything else, go into the other size bottles. So there we go. Carolina Horrevas. Good girl. Whew. Next, y'all. Because I'm going to get a full-size bottle of this baby right here. This is my all-time favorite rose fragrance. My all-time favorite rose fragrance. Besides another one that I'm going to name in here, because I love the rose. No, I'm like, I'm actually falling deeply in love with rose no, rose fragrances. But um, this rose, this is the fragrance that got me loving rose fragrances in the first place. And it is. Montal's Intense roses must not regular moses roses must you know the one that kim kardashian um wears this is montal's intense roses must this rose fragrance is so mother effing sexy like yo hey yo this fragrance is so bomb it's so good so so good so good I don't need to wear it that much. I wear it, but I don't have to spray it that much or whatnot. And I'm kind of holding on strong because I want to get the full size. But every time I go get it, I'm I'm buying everything else. I need to chill on that because I don't have a um, I don't have a full size Montal bottle yet. I don't know why, but this is gonna be my first one for sure. All right, it is a floral, and it only has four notes. Its notes are rose musk amber and jasmine and this is the sexiest rose fragrance i have ever smelled ever 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 like ever 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 <laughs> like not for real like this is so good it's very very good i love this fragrance a lot i, I only wear this in the spring i don't wear this any other time of year i couldn't like wear it in the fall but um i feel like spring is where you shine the most in your florals and this is one of the florals that i love to rock in the spring this is one of my favorite ones to wear um 
oh my god it's so pretty this is one of the prettiest roses oh my goodness smells so good very pretty like you could wear a sundress or any type of dress your pinks or whatever it smells like a pretty girl like a beautiful beautiful lady this is so pretty y'all should get this i'm getting the full size bottle for sure for sure this is going to be my very first montal bottle all right so that is montal's intense roses must all right so my last my very last Oh, you know what? <laughs> oh, child, listen. My second favorite rose, and I'm getting a full size bottle for sure of this one because I've been saving up. I'm gonna get it. That's probably why I've been like, you know, so stagnant with getting that bottle that Montau bottle is because I really want to get this rose fragrant first and I need to get it like ASAP because I'm damn near done with this one y'all want to know what I'm talking about I'm talking about parfums to Molly to Lena like yo look at that I probably got like one two four sprays up in here where you at yo the hell get on the camera look i'm kind of done y'all i'm getting the full size for sure for sure for sure This fragrance has sealed the deal for spring, summer, fall, all of those seasons. But I love wearing this in the springtime. I literally have the cream and the hairspray to go to this. Like, I'm so sad that I only got this little bit left. I've been going in on this. I love it. Delina, like I love this fragrance so much. Probably why I haven't been using my previous bottle that Montel Latez Rose, um, Roses Must because when I got this, I couldn't stop using it. Like I love this fragrance. It's a really good one. Like Parfum Somali did a great job on this fragrance. It is sexy as hell. It's beautiful. It's that bitch now nah, like, it's so good like it's really 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 good i see why people are hyped over this oh my god like every time each and every time i wear this i'm getting compliments i'm getting compliments from everybody and i'm not even wearing it from no compliments i don't even care if i don't get no compliments from everybody i compliment my damn self like i love this fragrance so much it's really good. I feel like a lot of people talk about this because it's really that good. It's not even a hyped up anything to me. It's just a very good fragrance, a very well-crafted fragrance. And I'm just sad that I got this little bottle. I have to get a full size this year. Like that, I'm going to make it my mission. I don't even care how much it costs anymore because I used to be like, I don't know if I want to pay them hundreds of dollars, but nah, I'm paying it. I'm doing it. I got to treat myself. So I'm getting this thing. Parfums de Marley. Delina. All right. It's going to be next on my full size list. All right. All right. Now we're going to move on to 
the full size bottles because um you know why not the part of the video um and the first full size i would like to talk about is what i got i gotta admit i only got this fragrance because it sounds like my name <laughs> i know it sounds like my name my name is patrice and um this fragrance is called Celce and Cabana's Limpad Trees. Okay. This is, um, it's very different. It's a fruity watermelon. To me, I smell the watermelon and the rhubarb and the, and the berries in here. It's very different. It's like one of my most unique fragrances. And, um... It took a while for me to get used to this one because I'm not gonna I'm a, I'm not gonna lie I was gonna give this away because I had a hard time with it like combining with my body chemistry because it could go very sharp and kind of sour sometimes but I kind of like it now. What I do with this, I just layer it with like watermelon stuff because I smell the watermelon note the most. Okay. Um, this is a floral aquatic, all right, and its notes are kiwi, rhubarb, pink pepper, watermelon, cyclamen, jasmine, lemon tree, musk, and sandalwood. And, um, yeah, it's like a sour to me, it's like a sour fruit cocktail that you could rock in the spring and the summer i don't like to wear this too much in the summer i only keep it in the spring on like cooler days or like not too high it can't be too warm or anything on those days because that's when it throws off my chemistry really bad so i like to keep it on the like cooler side of spring it's very nice we fight a lot sometimes we don't get along but i still kind of rock with this one all right and you know there we have it there she is dolce gabbana's limperecis next up next up we have one of my favorite Ariana Grande fragrances and it is a cult favorite everybody talk about this one and it's Ariana Grande's clouds I know everybody be like oh they don't like the bottle the cap I like this this is so cute this cloud and everything oh so nice so good so sweet now this one is a new bottle because I gave my other one to my niece because I love to give fragrances away. I can't film a collection video because I give a lot of my stuff, my fragrances away to my family and my friends. Like they got, they're going to get some perfumes for me because sometimes I'll get tired of a fragrance and then just give away, give it away because you know, I be into new stuff. So I get bored kind of easy. Listen. I just do that and I thought I was bored of this one but I discovered that I'm not bored I just didn't like how it, it lasts like regular old Baccarat Rouge 540 which it kind of smells like to me it does this is classified as a flory, floral fruity gourmand and its notes are lavender pear bergamot whipped cream, praline, coconut, vanilla, orchid, must, and woody notes. This is pretty. Very, very pretty. Um, it's sweet. It, again, reminds me of Baccarat Rouge 540, but a sweeter version. It's like a, a like an added marshmallow kind of thing. I see why everyone talks about it. I like to wear this honestly at all year round right but i love this in the spring it's so spring because you could smell it the most to me 
you smell this the most in the springtime it's very 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 pretty um i like to, i could carry this little bottle around so i just take it right out the case and i put this little bottle in my bag and i just spray to you know refresh and relayer this bad girl on me and it's really pretty ariana did a very good job on this fragrance she did very well i feel like um this is one of her best creations ever i do love another one of her fragrance i'm gonna talk about it later on because <laughs> I love that fragrance too but she did a very 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 good job on it in fact this is one of my four fragrances that i like from her and um i got this in a body spray as well or whatnot and uh yes there it is ariana grande's cloud very pretty Next up is um another one that I had repurchased because I gave this one to another one of my nieces. It is so pretty. I kind of mad that I gave that bottle away, but listen, it's so good. It's very pretty. And this one is from Swiss Arabian and it's called Crystal Rose. Y'all, 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 y'all. Mad pretty. Y'all see the, the bottle is pretty and everything. I dropped this so it kind of like comes out of it. But listen, it's a very pretty fragrance. And this kind of reminds me of Mansara's Roses Vanille. It does, but it's different. It's not exactly the same, but it's just a remnant of it. It's classified as a floral, and its notes are water notes, lemon, rose, caramel, vanilla, white musk, and cedar. Very pretty, very bright. So I like to wear this in the daytime. Like, you know, um, it lasts for about about four to six hours it's not obnoxious at all it sits kind of close to the skin at first when you first spray it, you're gonna smell it but then it goes in and it becomes like a skin scent not too bad at all but you'll still smell me if you know you hug me or you get too close or whatnot you'd be like oh you smell like smells like a sweet rose and you get the caramel note in it too so it's like a a rose a lemony rose caramel you smell those notes the most and it's very pretty very very nice i would say wear this to work or you know a day party maybe a brunch um yes it's very much like a dressy kind of fragrance or whatnot you know so yes i'd wear that for those that occasion only this is Swiss Arabian's Crystal Rose. Oof. Oh my God. Another one of my favorites. I had this for years, right? And this discontinued and I'm kind of glad that I got it when I did because y'all, if I would have missed this, I would have been upset. This is from Guerlain, and this is Aqua Allegoria's Herba Fresca. This is a very unique, fresh herbal fragrance that I love to wear in the spring. In the summer, too, but I love to wear this only in the spring. I can't wear this any other time of the year because, to me, it's not going to shine as much. This is an aromatic green fragrance and its notes are lemon, clover, mint, green tea, lily of the valley, and cyclamen, okay? Is the description of it, it smells like green plants after a storm, like a morning walk barefoot on a dewy grass. 
like a, it's a smell of an unforgettable summer and I have to agree this is oh this is so fresh I smell very fresh like if you love nature you love smelling you know plants after the rain if you like to just take your time deep breathe and you know like you're around the grass and you just want to feel good you go you stressing and stuff like that just pop this open take a sniff and you be all right now if you not if you in the city like me you can't really be around that too much unless you go to like central park or something like that or in the park i think you know you should like get up on this this is so nice it's discontinued yes but you i feel like you could be able to like find this on um like just google it you could probably find this like on ebay maybe fragrance x or something like that but definitely google this because this is so freaking just oh it's so good it's so fresh and herbal it's not it's not like super feminine or anything like that to me it's unisex um but anybody anybody can wear this this is very exhilarating and rejuvenating it's one of those rejuvenating kind of scents very 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 fresh and just good try this out just seriously give this a try like if you can like i feel like more people should get into more aromatic green scents instead of all this you know pretty floral because you can't smell like that all the time just add some variety it's the spice of life like put this in your life if you can if you can't find anything like this i say like let me smell it again let me smell it again hmm because it got that mint in here I'd say like, oh, what does this smell like to me? I can't really pinpoint anything that this smells like, to be honest, because it got mint and green tea. I do like tea fragrances. I kind of noticed that. I definitely like some green, some uh, tea fragrances. This is very good. I'm not gonna lie. I can't really say what it smells like because it's very unique. So I'm sorry about that. But if you can, if you could um, Google like fragrances that resemble this, like give it a shot. This is Guerlain's Aqua Allegoria Herba Fresca. Very pretty herbal mint fragrance. Mm -mm 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 -mm. You can't lie. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's something like that. All right, so the next one is from Mont Blanc, and this one is called Lady Eblum. Very pretty bottle. It doesn't sit up right. It just leans over, leans to the side. This one smells like sexy pencils. <laughs> this smells very different. It's a woody kind of fragrance. It's a, it's actually a cheaper floral. Very pretty. Its notes are sake, pink pepper, pink grapefruit, jasmine pomegranate musk sandalwood and amber and like i said it dead ass smells like sexy pencils it's woody oh it's kind of floral oh man this is nice though i like to wear this at night when i'm going out this is very new to my collection though like it's um i got this last year in the fall but I, when I was wearing this, I feel like, like I kind of came up with like, maybe I should just wear this in the spring as well, because, you know, it's 
floral it's light it's not a heavy fragrance it's very light but this is to me something that i would wear at the night time so that's what i like to wear it at night in the spring this is what i'm spraying on me this is what i've been spraying on me since last month i've been giving it a little trial you know and i like it at night like going out in it when i'm dressed up to the nines and yes i would put this on it's very pretty very pretty i wouldn't say this is like um super serious occasion like don't i don't think you should go to the club in this or anything like that like if you have like a formal event i would wear this definitely wear this it's very nice um yes this is mont blanc lady emblem very pretty scent Ooh, very pretty Ooh, next up is my very first very first full size mancera bottle and um i ain't really like this at first <laughs> i'm gonna admit that i did not like this one at first but um as i was spraying and letting it grow because i bought this last year i like her i like her a lot all right and this is Mancera's Velvet Vanilla. This is so good. I love it now. I was really mad. I ain't gonna lie. Because it, it was smelling a little bit off to me. Like, I was like, I, don't, I didn't understand the hype. But I do now. This is a floral fruity. And its notes are pear, angelica, black currant, pink pepper, clove, mandarin orange, tuberose, jasmine, neroli, rose, vanilla, and white musk. This is very unique. It's a very unique vanilla that kind of smells like bubble gum now i'm getting it like now but it smells like a green bubble gum with a dash of florals in the back and the vanilla is there but when i first got it it did not smell bubble gummy it's fact it smelled like ben gay i did not like that okay but the ben gay is gone and, and the vanilla and the florals is here all right it's very nice okay let me smell it smell it again yeah this is a serious type of fragrance you could wear this like i'd say all day long day to night um would i wear this to work um let me see i don't know what i wear this to work i would wear this to work it 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 you know it's not too obnoxious this is not that bad i would definitely wear this to work too um it lasts for about hmm like eight hours because it starts off really strong but then it becomes like very close to the skin so it has a moderate siage to me it's very nice very nice but you know what i'm saying it, it can be a little little too vintage smelling kind of been gay i was not playing about that at first like it could do that so give it some time to like you know macerate and then then wear it but overall 